Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Deep fried solidified mud slop. Ha <laughs> uh, They're all running over here, eating up there. It's because we don't have a table, isn't it? Alright, they're using the toilet. I think we need another toilet. Is it this? Yeah, we do. We, we, we could do another toilet. So you're coming out there, and they're all heading up here. They've now He's now got a, a cot, okay? So it's now a, it does automatically assign to the duplicates. I have got another one that is there ready. I just want to have a look at this a second. That one, a mush fry. Quality is terrible. 800 calories. No workable order, no power. Let's leave that for a minute. You've got no power. We could do with the battery. My biggest problem right now is that I, I, I've got like a lack of... Um, maybe I, I think I need another generator. That's what I think we need to do now is get another, uh, another generator. Okay, choose a blueprint. We've got another one of these to come in. Can I do doctoring errands? Increased science. I've already got someone that does that. Gains nighttime attribute, attribute bonuses. Cannot do digging. It's got trypophobia. Slow learner. Decreased science. Binge eater. Overjoyed. Sparkle streaker. <laughs> uh, increases decor in a small area effect around the wearer. And a snazzy suit. We've got a care package. The seed of a dusk cap. That could be quite cool. I'm just wondering if I should have another duplicate. Just like help do things. Have, have I got enough? I've got farming underway. I've got the basics. We do seem to struggle with the people a little bit, but then I've got to keep up the oxygen supply on them all, haven't I? So I think we will go with a care package this time. I'll take that care package right there. Fungal spore. What am I going to do with that fungal spore? I think I know what I will do. I will go there. Planter box grows one plant from a seed. Let me click on you. Digging up buried objects may uncover a fungal spore. Properties. Age unknown. Right, I don't want to compost you. Let's make a plant box. I'll put the plant box down here. And I'll use it to grow that one. Let's see if that works. That might, that it might be alright, it might actually do something, and here we go, we are waking up for a brand shiny new day. We've got a load of people off, Bert is straight on to the generator, and he is generating power, and he is able to generate more power than is actually being used at the moment, which is a really, really good thing. It does mean that that one does fill right up. So if we can get a bigger battery going, that'd be pretty cool. Now then, this one. Ellie, I don't want Ellie. How do I... Yeah, let's just wait for her to move over a little bit. Fungal spore, right there, needs darkness. I think we're, I think, I think we've got darkness right where I am. If not, we'll have to move it. But then, uh, hmm. Does that count as darkness there? Let's hope and pray that that does actually do darkness in there. So what is the quality of that? Atmosphere carbon dioxide. Okay, I need to put that one down there. Cancel. I have got uh, some upgrades over here. I want to cancel that one. You in here, this planter box. Deconstruct that one completely. And then take a new planter box and put that one down over here. This is in darkness down here and it's also in carbon dioxide for the mushroom. And then you over here, duplicate skills, which I forgot to look at before. Frankie has got a new skill in here. So I got one person has already got that one. Improved tinkering, operating is Frankie. Electrical engineering over here. It's the one that he really loves. So we will give him that one on there. Achievement unlocked to pay the bills. Frankie is our man. 
for doing some of these jobs. I, I don't quite know what jobs he's going to be doing, but uh, he will be doing some. I don't know what happened to that mushroom spore. I'm hoping they've still got it. If they haven't, we're in trouble. Fungal spore, yes, we do. Right, so we'll put that one in there. Atmosphere, carbon dioxide, slime, minus 4,000 grams per cycle. Oh. Right, it's got that, but it doesn't have the slime. Now, the problem with slime, though, is that slime is pure germ. Slime is 100% pure germs. Colony lacks field research skill. I've got natural gas being produced here. I've got gold amalgam over here. Okay, there's some pretty awesome stuff out that side. And then we've got some pincher pepper plants down here. Harvest ready. We've got potential research in here if we can open these doors. Those are pretty cool. And what is that? There's hydrogen in there. There's chlorine gas in there. More hydrogen over here. I've got more research things. Loads more slime over this side. Lots of algae. That is phosphorite. Iron ores. Igneous rocks. Loads of copper ore. I love this game. <laughs> absolutely love this game. The stuff that is available in here is absolutely ridiculous. We have got a new achievement. Is that one right there. Use Egyptian skill points to buy out an entire branch of the skill tree. Did I do that already? I didn't think I did. I thought he was like one below that. Anyway, research complete. New buildings have become available. A water cooler. I need somewhere for my duplicates to hang around and uh, have a chat and also have a bite to eat. So I can either extend this out this way towards the slime, which is getting a little bit dangerous, so that they can sit at the tables, or I go up a level and we allow them to have another level up here. We could put out some lights up here, we could put lights up above, maybe that sort of thing. Genuinely not sure at the moment how I want to do that. This one here, we're not going to be able to benefit from that until we can get slime. I don't want slime yet because slime is like major bad. There's some serious risks in that one. So I'm, I'm kind of quite cautious about that. Ventilation. At the moment, I've got gas pipes. It carries gas between outputs and intakes. Gas bridge, gas pump, and gas vent. It doesn't actually clean anything though. Got the water cooler. Gathering place for duplicates during downtime. Let's build a water cooler, shall we? We can have them. They can come over here. They can chat during downtime. They can go here, actually. Does it really matter? Build water cooler. <coughs> All right. I will plonk a water cooler up there. That's out of the way. I've still got plenty of water. The rest of these things, these are coming along quite nicely. We're growing those. Uh, so the next bit of research that I want to do, I've actually got this one already planned out. I do want power regulation, because that's, that's the one that I wanted, actually, because it's got the jumbo battery. It stores a lot more power. So we've got that one in there. That's fantastic. And these guys are still picking everything up. So I'm going to let them keep going for a minute with gathering everything up. Now, the mealwood seeds... I don't think I need to worry about those. I've got mealwood over here, and that's growing. And then I've got the bristle blossoms. They're growing as well. They're at 8%. I'm curious what's going to happen at night time. This, this shine nymph. What do I do with these? That's a tiny baby one. Shine bugs. What do I do with the shine bugs? Like, seriously, what what is the... What 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 can I benefit from with these things? I'm not really sure. I mean, you got the information there. Attracting more of their kind for company. They emit soft light. Uh, what's their diet? Bristleberry, gristleberry, phosphorite. Well, that's my bristleberries over here. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that, and I don't really know what to make of it, because uh, I, I am going, like, I don't know whether I should kill the thing off or not, or whether they're actually a handy thing to have around. 
Um, I'm hoping that the duplicants can keep going. They do appear now to actually be doing some housekeeping. And this is something that I'd like them to do. I want to keep working on some housekeeping. I am, I'll am. i let the, the housekeeping keep going while I add in another two of those. And I'm going to take the settings from that one. And I'm going to copy settings. And apply them to those two. So that I've got some more that we can go and put all the sandstone and stuff like that in. And research complete. Eureka! Jumbo battery switch and wire bridge. No research selected. Internal combustion converts coal into electric power. Wood burner burns lumber to produce electric power, produces carbon dioxide and heat. Now, I want to be able to start cleaning gases and things like that. I've got advanced power regulations. I guess we want to start with this one. Supercomputer. Conducts advanced research to unlock new technologies. Refunds duplicate skill points for reassignment. Duplicates will lose all assigned skill points in the process. Medical equipment, air systems. Oxygen and hydrogen. So then how do I get rid of the hydrogen? Spreads very few germs. That one, I think. We go with sanitation next on here. Although the filtrate gas filter sieves one gas from the air sending it into a dedicated pipe and the same with the liquid the filtration is also we'll go with the sanitation first to try and clean uh no we won't i'll go with that one first and then we'll do the sanitation second i want the filtration i think that's going to be more useful to us than anything else and i'm gonna just allow these guys to keep working for a little bit how am i doing for food okay uh, the food is fine i've still got loads of food here these are just about ready for harvest. And downtime. So we've got a water cooler over here. They will go over to and they will chat. They will use the bathroom. Do what they need to do. They're coming up here for their food breaks. He's rushing off to the toilet. See, this is why I want more toilets. I'm thinking that we might build more toilets over here. We could dig that section out and do toilets. Toileting. That's the polluted oxygen. It's it's cleaning the oxygen and stuff. That's the bit that I'm sort of most curious about, is how I'm going to do it. It's cleaning all of the oxygen and things like that. What am I going to do? Right, so long as you stay away from my duplicates, I will be happy. So you are... You needed a toilet. Why are you not going to the toilet? I'm guessing someone else was already going to the toilet. We've got various jobs underway. There seems to be a never-ending supply of water in here at the moment. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not I'm not complaining about that. I'm quite happy to have a never-ending supply of water. Made a mess. He didn't quite make it. Right, we need to mop up the spills. There. Mop up the mess. Mop up the spills. You'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. What have I got? You. Wire bridge. Switch. Jumbo battery. Right, we'll build a jumbo battery in here next. Where am I going to put it? I guess I could just drop it down here somewhere. Like that. But what I'm also going to do is I'm now going to add a little bit of redundancy to the wires. And I'm going to do a loop around like that. And let's not forget to connect in the battery as well. Right. Soggy feet. Okay, we need to uh, mop up the rest of this that there gather all of it up okay they have now actually gathered all of it up i don't know what that oh that was an egg that was yeah that was where we got one of these shine bugs from mate another one what is with the owls because the toilet is backed up yeah that's just great right and unless I manually go and assign them to go and clean up the mopping, they don't seem to want to do it. This is why I've got that one protected down there. To stop the water getting dirty with any messes. They're still cleaning up. Right, the lavatory has now been cleaned, so we should at least have that bit taken care of. 
And I need to mop that bit up. And I need to mop that bit up. If you, if you could come along and just clean up the rest of it, that would be absolutely wonderful. Okay, I'm very pleased with you all. You seem to have done a decent job with that. They're picking up the polluted water first, and they're bringing it over, and they're dropping it in the polluted water dispenser. Research is complete. Excellent. Research in here. That means I've now got the filtration so I can start filtering out some gas and moving it around. I want sanitation next, so we'll get you working on the sanitation. And where... I mean, I, I don't think at the moment I really need to worry about the filtration. I was thinking that I would be moving carbon dioxide from down here and just pumping it over to this side. That's literally the only thing that I want to do is move carbon dioxide from one over to here. So there isn't a lot else to do. So we'll go to ventilation in here. This gas bridge, gas filter, gas vent. See if there's one gas out. Plumbing in here. We've got the liquid filter, liquid vent, and the pump, the bridge, the pipes. Is everything that we've got in there. Ventilation, gas filter, sieves, one gas from the air. So if I take you... Oh, I see. There we go. Right. So how does that work? Does that have to go on the ground? Press O to rotate. I can put it that way up if I want to. Ah. So in one side and out the other... what all the pipes do. Let's let them build it for a minute. And then once they've built that, then I can sort of figure out what else we need to do, where we need to move things. We've got meal lice that they're picking up here. I think yeah, the meal wood, they do continue to grow. The meal lice have been delivered down into here. They would just eat them normally. So I've got fried mushroom, a fried dish made with a fruiting dusk cap, pickled meal. Meal lice regrettably preserved in vinegar. Uh, quality is grizzly. Grizzly, minus one. Quality poor, plus one. Zero. Quality terrible. Okay, so pickled meal lice are apparently not very popular. Gar barbecue, the cooked meat of a defeated critter. I don't have any meat for that. They, they like those, apparently, but uh, I don't have any meat for them. Those are considered terrible. But then when I look in here, the, the, the mush bar, that is minus one. Lice loaf there is zero. Tofu is made from nosh beans. That is plus two. Mush bar is minus one. You are mush fry. Mush bar, that is then... Well... I see, right. So if I was to take some of these mush bars, if I was to make 20 of them, like that, make 20 mush bars, there. Yes, I have an order for 20. And then mush fry, just keep making mush fries. Any mush bars that are made, they get turned into mush fries over here. Have a look at edible. I've got muckroot, mush bar, mushroom, nutrient bars in here. Cooking ingredient. Pinch of pepper nut. Let's put all of them in there. We can put the cooking ingredients in there as well. I haven't got anything else to go in there just yet. Picked up mush bar. That's going up there. I'm going onto the grill, is it? Delivered the mush bars. Right. That works fairly well. Okay, now we want to have a look over here. So you you need power to be able to run. Output to none. Gas output all. No filter selected. Properties. Breathable gas. No gas output. No filter selected. No power wire. No gas intake. No gas... Right. Basically, things are not going well with this one. Unbreathable gas, aluminium, goodness, gravy me. Right, that's that's output. 
Output one. Gas output one is all. I'm not... I see. Right. So I can take one gas from there and I can output it on one of the yellow ones. So I go to unbreathable gas there and I take carbon dioxide. I want to output carbon dioxide from here. Like that. No filter selected. I want to get power for this one. And I want to put wire. I'll put wire up there like that. I guess. Run it like that. Uh, plumbing over here. I then want to take liquid pipe. No, it's not plumbing. It's ventilation. Gas bridge. Gas pipe over here. So, build gas pipe. That's an input. That's an output. Right. That's got to go over this way. So does the wire. Then that one goes like that. And then I put a gas vent on both of those sides. The gas vent, gas intake pipe. Wait, what? Vents are an exit point for gases from ventilation systems. Put you onto there. So you're an exit point. Gas pipe there. I will take power over here. Wire. Yeah, that's, that's already been connected in. Let's just let that bit build in. I may have got that a little bit wrong. I've got this pipe over here. Ventilation pipe, uh, gas pipe over there. Now, this is carbon dioxide. So what I actually want to do is cancel those two. And then I want ventilation and I want gas pipe. I want to bring you over here like this. And I want a gas vent. And I'll put that one on there. So that should bring the carbon dioxide over to here. We'll bring the carbon dioxide in. That will vent out the normal stuff. So how do I do an input? Gas pump draws in gas and runs it through pipes. Must be immersed in gas. Gas bridge. Gas filter. Sips one gas from the air, sending it to a dedicated pipe. Does that draw in? I don't know. Okay, colony achievement earned over here to pay the bills outdoor. Uh, it's not raw. Have duplicate eat any cooked meal prepared on electric gill, uh, gill or grill or gas range. Uh, new log entry. I've added a new entry to my log cycle 15. As far as I can tell, we are hundreds of miles beneath the surface of the planet. Digging our way out will take some time. My duplicates will survive, but they are not meant for sustained underground living. Under what personal circumstances could my pod have ended up here? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't like to say. Gas filter, liquid filter. That's the bit that we already did. Research. I have not got research. Go oh, no, I have got... Re research is currently underway. Uh, building lacks resources. Planter box. Oh, that's the... Uh, I need the slime for that one. Growth halted, fertilizer, insufficient resources, slime. We won't worry about that. We have got these other resources around as well. We've got duplicates doing various different tasks. They're very, very busy. They're very industrious. They're doing lots of different things. They're still cleaning stuff up for the most part. Uh, is sand filtration medium. Are they actually cleaning up sand? What have I got in these storage bins? Well, what, what have I requested in these storage bins? I've got raw minerals in here. Sand st Oh, it's because I haven't got anywhere to store sand. Filtration mediums. Right, research is complete. Just go into there. That's metal ores in that bin. That is all of the metal ores that I've got available. Two lots of metal ores. And then you in here, you are algae. That's organic in there. I got 2,258 kilos out of 20,000 in there. 
What I don't have is sand and dirt storage. So we need sand and dirt storage. Now that is the other stuff. That there is metals. That's algae over there near the oxygen. So where am I going to put the sand and the dirt? Because these are filtration mediums. I think we'll put a couple of them over here. So if I, I want to go to furniture. No, not furniture, is it? It's storage bins. We've got the mesh tiles there. I don't want to use mesh tiles just yet. There, three of them. Four of them right there. I think that'll do nicely. Why haven't you built anything in there? Oh, you are. You're building the pipes. They're building the gas pipes in there. And I've now got a few extra bits in here. They're doing everything they need to do. Research complete. Lavatory, mesh tile, shower, sink. I'm going to go to you. I want to go to research. And flow direction. No distillation. Slime into algae. Improved plumbing. Carries liquid. Gas valve controls the volume. Airflow used to build the floors and blocks liquid but without obstructing gas. Liquid valve. Controls the volume coming through. Decontaminator. Deodorant uses sand to filter polluted oxygen from the air reducing disease spread. Ah! I want that one. I am going to want that. We're going to need advanced research to be able to do that though. Brute first, uh, brute first, brute force refinement. Inefficiently produces refined materials from raw resources. Fires clay to produce for ceramic. Duplicates will not fabricate unless the recipe is acute. Internal combustion. Produces carbon dioxide. Meal preparations, we've already got those. Let's go with that one then. We'll get some advanced research underway. These are still being built. It might take a minute or two. I've got some more stuff here in the printing pod. Uh, colony summary. Why are you telling me to go to the colony summary? Uh, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. What, why, what, what am I looking at? I don't know why it's telling me to go there. Duplicant skills, anyway. Hassan! Hassan, right over here. Now, at the moment, he's got hard digging, super hard digging, abyssalite mining. Hassan is interested in super hard digging and will receive a morale bonus for learning it. Improved construction. Morale bonus for that. That's plus two construction. Cannot learn improved construction. Right, so I want Hassan to learn those and also carrying. Supplying areas. We'll keep him going with the digging. So then he's, yeah, he, he he's going to be the main digger. He, that's what he's going to be doing. That's going to be his, like, chief... Chief job at the moment is just to do that sort of thing. She's got improved farming over there. We've got crop tending. She's not able to... She hasn't got any skill points yet. So we, we will get there. We will get there with the whole skill points and everything. Hassan has now got some improvements, which he seems very delighted about. We've got some storage bins over here. And let's go into storage bins now. So cultivable soils. I've got just dirt in there. Filtration medium is sand. So I will put the filtration medium on that one. And then I will copy settings and I will do four things of sand on here. And then over this side we will put dirt. She's going to dig out a little bit over here as well. We'll go like this. I will dig out those. That one's going to collapse. That one I've made a mistake on there, haven't I? Look. You see what I've done? Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.